welcome back to Ayastek. in this video i am going to show you that how you can deploy your next js project on versal.com so first of all we will create a new next js project so you have to run this command to generate your new project npx space create dash next dash app at the rate of latest press enter it will install the latest version for you type y to accept now here it is asking you <coughs> to provide the project name type the project name i will just use the default one and it is asking me if you want to use typescript i want to use it so just press yes and press enter yes i want to use tailwind css so press enter again press right arrow to select the yes option and let us create a new github repository and here type next js test okay my new repository has been created i will just copy this Okay, the project has been installed. Now let us go inside the project. Ls cd my app. Now I am inside my next JS project. I will open this project in the VS Code. Okay. Now I will link this project with my GitHub account. So in order to link this GitHub repository uh, with my project, I will just add git remote add origin and then paste the url that you want to link with it now i will push all of these files to my github repository so let's just type git push origin master okay now if you reload the repository you will see all of the files there now i will go to my versal account and there I will create a new project click on the create a new project and from here as we want to deploy our project with the help of github account so just click on continue with github and here you have to authorize versal to give it permission to access our github repositories so now it has access to our github account it will show us a list of all of the github repositories in this drop down so after we have connected our github repository we can uh, see that repositories are still not being shown so we have to click on the add github account button and select the account that uh, you just connected click on that and from here you may select only a specific repository uh, that you want to connect or you can click on all repository that will give it uh, full access if you want to select just one let us just select next js so from here I will select this specific one and click on the install button it will install it after that is done that repository will start to show in this drop down so now uh, click on the import button now here you would have to configure your project you can set any name to your project and here it has automatically detected the next.js framework you may select other as well uh, but right now we're using next.js so let's keep it as it is and here you have to spec you can specify that from which directory you want it to uh, use the uh, next.js files as our next.js files are in the root directory so just keep it as it is and these are the build output settings so normally our uh, project is using default uh, commands to build application but in your case if you have modified the build commands in the package.json then uh, you may want to edit those commands manually from here from here you can set the environment variables and after uh, you think that everything is configured correctly then you just click on the deploy button So after clicking on the deploy, it will start using the files from your GitHub repository and uh, it will build the application and deploy to a unique URL that it will give to you after some time. 
so wait for it and after uh, some amount of time it will be live so while it is being deployed you can go back to the back page and uh, if you reload it you should see your latest project that you just created click on your new project and here you can see the status that it is building your project uh, it has built the project already and now it is saying that it is assigning the domain now reload your page again to see the updates so you can see that the project has been deployed and it has assigned a unique domain name to your uh, project so to access your website just click on this link and with that you are able to access your project and it has automatically installed the SSL certificate and it has given you a unique URL to access it so this is a versal app subdomain that it is given to you but if you want to use a use your own domain name then you can just add your own domain name by going to the setting in the setting you find the domains menu from here you can add your own domain if you don't want to use their domain so now as our project has been deployed uh, i will show you that it is automatically deployed uh, i will show you that uh, this is fully automated as soon as you will make any change in your project it will automatically build that and deploy to the versal to your project and make some changes in your website just to edit some text somewhere for example i want to edit this one so remove all of this and type hello world and let us commit this change and push it to the production uh, to the github git add git commit changes git push origin master this would push it to the github and after it is pushed there we will see that uh, next js would automatically start building our new change to deploy you can see that a new build process has been started and after some time it will deploy it so normally it takes 40 seconds for a small uh, new project as you can see here so after 40 seconds or maybe less than that it will deploy and then we will observe the change you can see this time it took less time than 40 seconds and now open this and click on the visit button this time you can see that our new change has been deployed so the cool feature about Versal is that it creates a unique URL for every commit. So for every commit would be live on a unique URL. So for example, you want to access this uh, deployment. This is on a unique URL. So you can see that this change is on this URL and this uh, latest change on a unique URL. So every change is live so you can access any <coughs> past change as well by opening uh, their relevant URLs. So if you want to uh, just see the latest one you can either use this URL or you can go back here and open your project and click on a visit it will just it will use your main domain name. <coughs> I hope that uh, this video was useful for you if you have any questions or feedback then please mention them in the comment section and also please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon thanks for watching see you in the next video